Lawrence going to fire it out wide. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. Well done. You've defeated this ultimate challenge. Now, if there are stars still available, you... Hello, and welcome into this Madden Ultimate Team Showdown. I'm your host, The Coach. For this next challenge, you need to complete all the challenge goals to get the win. You can view the goals at any time from the pause menu. Let's get back to Brandon and Charles for the call. Thank you, Coach. This challenge begins in the second quarter with three minutes to go. We're still without a score, tied at zero. But your opponent has the ball at your 40-yard line. First and long. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting in there and bringing him to the ground. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you know where to go here. He lost the football, and this is picked up by the Saints. Congratulations on yet another victory. And you can go right to the next challenge if there's another one available. Welcome, everybody. I'm the coach. Up next, another ultimate challenge on EA Sports. For this next challenge, you need to complete all the challenge goals to get the win. You can view the goals at any time from the pause menu. To finish this out, here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We will begin this challenge in the third quarter with three minutes remaining. Still no points on the board. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. But your opponent has possession at your 35 yard. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. And Stroud now to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. He finds his target. It's Schultz. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. First and 10, it's Pierce. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Okay, ready? They'll run here with Pierce. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Once more, it's Pierce. And he'll take this one in for a tech. The Texans offense ready for first and ten. Back to the ground with Pierce. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Stroud to throw it. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. All right, not. And now the offense getting set first and 10. Throwing now is Stroud. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. There you have it. Another challenge and another victory. Now remember. Hey folks, it's the coach here. Welcome back for another exciting matchup in Madden 
ultimate team. For this next challenge, you need to complete all the challenge goals to get the win. You can view the goals at any time from the pause menu. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. In case you were wondering, last scoreless tie in the NFL, 1943, Giants and Lions. So here we are in the fourth quarter, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Well, I've got a feeling, partner. I've got a feeling that this is going to be the drive. In fact, something big might happen defensively. From the 46, here's a second and four. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard. Two minutes left to go. This one surprisingly still scoreless. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. Plenty of time to work with here, but the timeouts, they're gone. Here's first and ten. Taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. But they'll come up now. This is second and long. Now Rodgers. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. But this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations. Hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. No timeouts. you got to go quick here. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And just like that, another ultimate challenge has been defeated. Savor the victory, if only for a moment. Hello there, it's the coach with you here today, and this is an ultimate challenge. For this next challenge, you need to complete all the challenge goals to get the win. You can view the goals at any time from the pause menu. Taking you the rest of the way. Here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Brandon. Thank you, Coach. So for this challenge, we're in the fourth quarter with three minutes to go. We're still without a score, tied at zero. You've got the ball on your own 40, first and 10.
The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. We'll see if they can grab the lead. Either way, what a job their defense did to force the turnover on downs to set up this opportunity. Two yards on the carry there. It'll... The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. this second down and eight Al down to throw it he's going to loft one deep left side here that's going to be knocked away and incomplete too many zeros on the stat sheet thus far. No touchdown passes, no points for his team, but he remains undaunted. Still attempting to get his team on the scoreboard, firing the ball downfield. The offense on third down tonight. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. Throwing here, Howell. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. And how about this, a fake? is going to blow up in their faces. Not only do they not get the first, they're going to lose. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. And Howe will throw it. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. With a play fake, and now here's how to throw it. Looking left side, and it's complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 42. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And they move this all Offside. the way down to the 9. They knew they had the free play after the penalty. They get great yardage, so they can decline that penalty. And one of the things we've seen develop more and more in recent years are teams seeing that penalty occur and still taking the big shot downfield and hoping to gain the yardage as we just saw there. They practice it, they work on it, and this time they're successful. connect but a late flag comes in and the contact may have come too early Defense. 
And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Derrick Henry punching it in from a yard away. And the Saints go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Not quite enough that time. Maybe just try a lower star difficulty if you can and select re First down and 10 now for the Saints offense as they get ready. Here's Hal. Room to maneuver at the 35. And he gets this one down to the 24. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Saints go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quick... Hello, everyone. You're watching Ultimate Challenges, and I'm your host, the coach. For this next challenge, you need to complete all the challenge goals to get the win. You can view the goals at any time from the pause menu. Let's join this one already in progress. Here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, we will begin this challenge in the third quarter with three minutes remaining. Still no points on the board. It's 0-0. You have possession on your own 35-yard line as we get set here first and 10. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Now this throw caught left side. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 22 yards there, a first down. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off play action. It's Hal. Side and he's got more complete. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Well, unfortunately, no win on this attempt, but... And the offense readies for a first down and 10. Now he'll look to throw it. Man open, that's Ray Ray McLeod. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 39 yards, the distance covered on the catch and run. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Hal throwing on first down here. And 
And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. I absolutely love that play call there. They just came off of a big play. They've got momentum in their direction, and they come back and take the shot at the end zone. Just unable to complete it. I love their aggressiveness. And you feel like the defense, a sigh of relief, could have been back-to-back -back really big plays. And that'll just about do it for us in this one. You've notched another win, and then... Can I talk my... Come on! That other side... The... Hey, everybody, welcome. It's the coach with you here today for another edition of Madden Ultimate Team. For this next challenge, you need to complete all the challenge goals to get the win. You can view the goals at any time from the pause menu. Since we're about to get underway, we'll kick it down to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis for the call. Coach, we start this challenge off in the first quarter with three minutes remaining. We're still without a score, tied at zero. But your opponent has the ball at your 40-yard line, and it's first and ten. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. Now the ball comes loose. And one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Wow, that ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Okay, so you won't be going under. And now the Ravens set to go on first and 10. Now a first carry for their fullback. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. All around great play by Devin Lloyd, using his athleticism to get to the backfield and his strength to stop him for a loss. After a play like that, there should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Now Jackson on second down. A short throw caught by Andrews. It'll go down as a gain of six. Third and seven now. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Now it's Jackson. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And the Saints are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 37. Back to throw, Howell. He'll get that one to Carter complete. Sheds off the tackle. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 33 yards that time. This is what made the West Coast offense a staple around the NFL in the 80s and 90s. You don't have to push the ball deep downfield to come up with big plays. And there's an example of that right there. Nice job.